Welcome everyone. Hope you've had a good day so far and I hope this video makes it even better. Today, we'll be discussing the impact of sound design in video games. We'll be talking about the evolution, techniques, and immersion of gaming soundscapes. Let's rewind to the dawn of gaming, where simple melodies and bleeps set the stage for these immersive experiences. In the early days, sound design was a rudimentary affair. Constrained by limited technology and resources, games like Pong and Space Invaders relied on these basic sound effects to convey action feedback. But even in their simplicity, these sounds became iconic, etching themselves into the collective memory of gamers worldwide. As technology advanced, so too did the complexity and richness of gaming soundscapes. The arrival of the NES brought unforgettable melodies, like the Super Mario Bros. theme, composed by legendary Koji Kondo. These melodies transcended mere background music and became anthems of adventure and exploration. With the advent of CD-ROM technology in the 90s, these game developers gained access to larger storage capacities, allowing for higher audio samples and longer musical compositions. Games like Final Fantasy VII and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time showcase the full potential of orchestral music in-game, with sweeping scores that evoked a range of emotions from triumph to despair. The turn of Millennium saw a rise of fully orchestrated soundtracks in gaming, thanks in part to advancements in audio compression techniques and the proliferation of digital audio workstations. Titles like Halo Combat Evolved and Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty set new standards for cinematic sound design, blurring the lines between interactive entertainment and blockbuster movies. Today, soundscapes continue to evolve at an unprecedented pace, with composers and sound designers pushing the boundaries of creativity and innovation with every new release. From the haunting melodies of indie powerhouses like Undertale and Celeste, to the epic compositions of AAA juggernauts like The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, and The God of War series. The diversity and depth of gaming soundtracks are a testament to the artistry and passion of creators behind them. As we reflect on the evolution of gaming soundscapes, it's clear that sound design has become an integral part of the gaming experience, enriching our adventures and immersing us in worlds beyond our wildest imagination. Sound isn't just auditory, it's emotional. It has the power to evoke nostalgia, fear, excitement, and wonder, shaping our gaming experiences in profound ways. Research has shown that sound design plays a crucial role in shaping player emotions and perceptions. In a study published in the Journal of Experimental Psychology, researchers found that music and sound effects can influence player behavior, enhancing immersion and engagement. Think about the Lavender Town theme from Pokemon Red and Blue. Its eerie melody and haunting tones created a sense of unease and mystery, leaving a lasting impression on players of all ages. This is the power of sound design. It's not about what you hear, but how it makes you feel. For a more modern example, think of the Driftville City theme from Pokemon Black and White, and how it makes you, uh... Behind every captivating sound in gaming lies a team of dedicated audio engineers, composers, and sound designers. Their craft blends technology with artistry, transforming raw sounds into immersive experiences that breathe life into virtual worlds. From recording real-world sounds to manipulating digital audio, audio engineers employ a wide range of techniques to create these immersive soundscapes. Foley artists use everyday objects to create sound effects, while composers craft original scores that enhance the emotional impact of gameplay. Sound design isn't just about atmosphere, it's a gameplay tool. From providing critical feedback to guiding player actions, sound design shapes the way we interact with virtual environments. Consider the sound of footsteps in survival horror games like Silent Hill or Resident Evil. The intensity and frequency of footsteps can convey a sense of urgency or impending danger, heightening the tension and immersing players in the game world. With advancements in audio technology, the boundaries of gaming soundscapes continue to expand. From surround sound systems to dynamic audio engines, 
developers are pushing the limits of immersion. One of the most exciting developments in gaming audio is the rise of spatial audio technologies, such as Dolby Atmos, THX, and DTSX. These technologies all create a three-dimensional audio environment, allowing players to experience sound coming from all directions. Whether it's the rumble of distant thunder or the whisper of an enemy behind you, spatial audio adds a new dimension to gaming immersion. At the heart of it all lies the player experience. The true measure of success for sound design is its ability to captivate, inspire, and immerse players in unforgettable gaming adventures. For many gamers, sound design is more than just a technical aspect of game development. It's a fundamental part of the gaming experience, from the epic orchestral scores of Final Fantasy to the ambient soundscapes of Journey, sound design has the power to transport us to new worlds and ignite our imaginations. As we conclude our journey through the symphony of gaming, let's take a moment to appreciate the magic of sound design. From its humble beginnings to its transcendent heights, Sound design continues to redefine the boundaries of interactive storytelling. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to influence what I make in the future, or how I can make it in the future, you can comment in the comment section below, tell me what you want to see. Do you want to see gaming videos? I stream over on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thedatacat, so I can also take some of those streams from Twitch, edit them down, and put them on YouTube if you'd prefer. I'm always making community posts. I stay active within my Discord. If you ever want to join that, the link's always below. And yeah, I decided to make this quite a bit shorter. I wanted this video essay to feel palatable. I want you to be able to watch in between two videos without falling asleep in the middle of it. So I'll probably make things about this length going forward. No promises. Sometimes, you know, some videos need more length, some don't. Yeah. Um, I'll end it there. And until next time, see you guys later. Peace.